In my time on this channel, I've definitely reviewed a lot of oddities, some strange things out there, novelties, if you will, some awesome stuff as well. You never know what you're going to get. Now, today with this device, I think it does fit into those categories of odd, strange, and novelty. Straight out of China, we have the family pocket. As you can see the image there, you may be getting an idea of what we're dealing with here. Not suitable. Oh, it is suitable for children over 15, not under 15. You got to be over 15 to enjoy this thing. Or maybe be out of your mind. I'm not sure. So what is this thing? <laughs> the bookshelf? The, it might as well say book shit, but I believe it, it, it's supposed to say bookshelf, retro TV, clock and wireless gaming. This thing's interesting. It's interesting. People collect this kind of crazy stuff. These weird Chinese... Clone consoles, uh, weird Nintendo products that are unofficial, you know, just straight up Soldier Boy out of China type of thing. And th that, that's what we got here. This is kind of neat though. But let's go ahead, just unbox it, take a look. So we have a manual. I've been getting a lot of uh, products from these companies out here. Okay, this one does have everything in English. But I, I recently re, uh, received some products that, like, everything's in Chinese, and I have no idea how to use it. And I'm having to use Google Translate on my phone to translate the instructions and whatnot. But good, this one's, this one's in English, so we can figure things out if we need to. So here we go. Let's get everything out of the box here. So what is this thing? Let's just get everything out. Let's get everything out. Got a couple controllers. We got some batteries. I actually took the batteries out so it would turn off. Uh, there's cable there, USB, little micro USB cable for some charging action, uh, a little reset pin looking thing, couple extra screws and a tiny screwdriver. That is a little ass screwdriver. Holy crap. Here she is. The book shit retro TV, the bookshelf retro TV. There's the little reset for that pin if you need to. We got some buttons on here. We got a dial. It actually has that. That nice click, like an old school retro TV. This top one, it says VHF. That doesn't do anything. And then on the side, USB power, AV out. And then another battery port back here. This There's a spot for four batteries. You could use four double A's on this thing or use the included rechargeable batteries that came with it underneath so you have some options here you go ahead and get these in there came with these batteries so that that's nice you know everything's ready and you see it could it starts to power on with just one but you want that extended battery life you want to really enjoy this thing you know what i mean so ploy lab i've been uh dealing with these guys for a little while they've got a lot of interesting and crazy stuff on their website man uh, they sent this to me for purpose of review I do have a few other products that I think are even more interesting than this and actually a hell of a lot better than this that we're going to be taking a look at in the very near future. But this one's just one of the strangest. Look at that. The clock. It's not set. It's not that time right now. Here's our, here's our controller. Why do we have, why do we have uh, trigger buttons? You got a D-pad. This, it doesn't feel great, but then at the same time, it doesn't feel bad. I don't know what just happened here. Turn that shit off. Oh, if you turn this knob, it stays on the clock. If you turn it one, it goes there. So we're going to get into that in a second. Let, let's leave that off. Maybe if you press, is it when you, no, if you press stuff on here when it's off, it doesn't do anything. You have a charging port there, and I think it has the same battery. Yeah, rechargeable battery, little Hong Lee battery in there, ready to go. They say this battery if it dies, you could charge it for like three seconds and this thing will be good all day type of thing. So very low power consumption. I haven't tested that out. I'm just going off of the description I read. But we're D-pad, but it, you know what? This is this looks like a piece of junk and I'm not going to lie to you. It's not that great, the controller, but I felt worse. I felt a lot worse. This actually feels better than most of the controllers that come with stuff like the arcade one up uh pac-man and mega man or any of those blast dongles from at games there's just 
You know, it's not horrible, but it's nowhere near great. It's like gets a two out of ten, two and a half out of ten. Menu button, start, select, A, B, X, Y. You're playing NES games. Don't know why you need all these freaking buttons, but you get two of them. You get two of them. Two of them. Wireless gaming. There you go. Oh, we didn't put the antenna on. We got to put the antenna on this little thing. So <clears throat> get in there. Doesn't do anything. It's just for aesthetics. Did I just like break it? Oh, there we go. I, I guess I, I guess I hit a button or something. So AV cable, if you want to plug this into a TV, because this little TV is too small for you. Uh, and that's about that's 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 it for you know all that. Let's get into the freaking games. So this is an NES Famicom on a chip type of thing, type of situation. And just look at that. It, it, it's so stupid, but kind of cool at the same time. So we're gonna have a bunch of weird games on here. Uh, obviously, how do we get the, oh, we can, we turn this knob even further to get the volume higher. So there's that. Let's, let's check this out. You got the 108 and one, uh, there's cartridges that have the same list. You'll have weird shit like Super Contra 7, Super Mario Bros, but you don't know if it's actually going to be Mario Bros. Mario 6, Super Mario 9, they go all the way up to Mario 16. This dude has been busy. What? You're going to have a lot of weird shit. Hacks, homebrews, uh, actual games, that kind of thing. You just, you don't know. Hot Blood Story, Hot Blood High SC, Hot Blood Ice Hawk, Double Dragon, 1, 2, and 3, Tiny Toon. There's like a bunch of Tiny Toons. Chippendale, 1, 2, and 3. I didn't know they made that many of them. Uh, Street Fighter 6. Oh my God. We're going to have to go into that one. Snow Bros is on here. Sweet. Excellent uh, NES port of the arcade game. What else do we have on here? Excite Bike, Circus Mario, Balloon Mario, Small Mario, Angry Mario, what? I don't know what the hell that says. We got Tetris, Pac-Man 3, Galaga Galaxian. What else is on here? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper has his own game. What the hell? Oh my God. Let's let's see what Alice Alice Cooper. I didn't know he had a game. Press start. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's a, it's a Super Mario clone. Oh shit. Oh my God. Hold on. Those speakers. That that little speaker is blown out when you have it all the way up. Sounds better when you have it a little lower, but wow, the speaker's not definitely not great. <laughs> Alice Cooper, my friends, didn't know he had a game, but he does, and it's on the bookshit retro TV. Oh my wait, I just what what's the hell's going on? Can I reset this? Oh, you if, if you press these buttons here, you can like change some options, but I don't see how to change this to English. So I couldn't really tell you what all that says. I'm sure it's like brightness, contrasts, saturation, all that kind of stuff. All right, let me like the visuals on this little screen. I mean, not great, but not the worst I've seen. I'm not seeing like the screen really getting messed up or anything. All right, let's. I just want to get back to the game list. That that Alice Cooper, you can do better. Come on now. The fuck was that? Let me see here. What what was the other one I was talking about? Oh, Street Fighter Six. Holy crap! They got the exclusive on here. Um, okay. I'm E Honda. Oh, shit. I didn't know they were going to make Street Fighter 6 for the, uh, for the NES. I thought that would be on, like, next-gen consoles if they did commit to making one. 
Oh my god. That game, man, they they I think that might be a beta. That might be a beta right there. They got a they got a lot of work. Maybe that's an alpha build. They got a lot of freaking work, dude. Let me see, is Snow Bros actually Snow Bros? Okay. It's freaking Snow Bros, dude. All right, and it's playing full speed. I, I recently played this on another emulation type. Well, this isn't like, not emulation, but like a system on a chip type thing. Um, and the speed for this game was slowed down and I just immediately noticed it. This is this seems like it's full speed. Oh, there you go, some Snow Bros action. Crappy little screen, but it's not the worst I've seen. Like I'm not seeing any weird flickering on the screen or anything like that. It's not bad. The, the sound is definitely a little, it's a little off and the speaker's kind of blown out. I mean, you could lower it and it sounds a little bit better, but it's still like, the sound quality's not that great. But I, I still honestly think there's, people will have interest in these kind of devices. It's weird. It's a knockoff item out of China. I haven't really seen anything like this recently. I thought it was really neat, so yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it as an NES game. You can use it as a clock. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't think there's any like, oh, we can't, oh, if we're on that screen, we could change. Holy crap, we could change it to English. Maybe I should have read the manual, my friends. Whoa, we could we can change the color. I want I want blue. Oh, nice. Nice. Restore defaults. Exit settings. So I wonder if we go into the game and now we... Yeah, there we go. The little on-screen display is in English now. Contrast. Uh, v, the vertical compensation, I would imagine that means. Brightness. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, weird little device, man. I'm not recommending this for any serious uh, gaming action. It's a novelty, it's a weird little thing. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. The company that sent this to me, uh, Ploy Lab, they did provide a coupon code to get like $10 off. So I believe it's like 40 bucks and it comes with all the batteries and all this weird stuff so you can mess around with it if you so choose. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Let me see, is there anything of crazy importance here? Is there... Oh, sales service. I was going to say, is that a freaking warranty card? But no, it's just like, maybe it is a warranty card. I, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, goofy ass weird thing, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for hanging out. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.